well, it's the beginning of August, and uh, I need to get around to fixing this wood boiler. It was uh, leaking out water a lot from right here towards the end of the last season, and uh, I want to get it fixed before this coming season. A couple other things I want to do on it too, better insulation, and uh, maybe some, maybe a shelter over it. I'm not sure if I'll get that far or not, but what I'm going to start with is taking off all these panels, the outer panels of the boiler, and uh, all that good caulking I put on there. I'm going to have to get another tube of that, $13 a tube. But, uh, yeah, this thing looks like brand new before this last season, and that's that's what we're looking like now. So, I was pretty hard on it, too, though. I mean, I was running it at more than its capacity and it needs needs a little bit of fine tuning but these are all 5 16 I'm going to get these all off and go ahead and find out where the damage is oh I'm taking this cover off and check out how much grease it's in this thing it's pretty clogged up so I'll have to knock that out and clean it out pretty good well, good news is my insulation looks really clean. Doesn't look like it's overly wet. Got a little bit of dampness right here around the stack, but really not much, if any, dampness. Probably more or less condensation. So I'm happy with that. Means I sealed it up pretty good. This looks sealed up well. So there's no water coming down in there. Well, I've gotten to the side here gotten this panel taken off and uh there's my problem got that build up there it's rusting from the inside out um it's kind of it's not real thin but it's probably eighth eighth inch material so i'm gonna have to uh figure out how far down this goes because I know it's bad there too basically what I'll do is I'll bring out a pick or a hammer with the sharp end on it and just tap around see how bad all that is and uh whatever's not weak it'll be fine but whatever's weak I'll have to cut out and put a patch in it so yeah that's gonna be fun I, mean, I don't have to cut it all out. I just have to cut out the bad spot and then weld a patch over it. Would be fine too. That's probably going to be a bad spot soon. I was thinking maybe I'll take off the other side too and see what it looks like. Get a wire wheel out here too. Well, that's after wire wheeling. I'm feeling a little bit more confident now. None of this is weak. Um down here we're starting or up here we're starting to get some scale pretty hefty scale and then here we got a hole we got a hole there we got a hole there hole there hole there hole there uh that one feels good but i'm probably gonna patch it too there's a hole there you can see that so yeah there's gonna be a bunch of patching i'm gonna go get something to descale this with knock it off and then uh, wire wheel it again. See how much cutting I gotta do. Well, I've got it uh, patched in. I've just used a diamond plate, like 3 16 I was gonna do a couple, like three patches here, but then there's no holes down here, but it was a little bit pitted. So I wanted just to cover it up just in case it does grow. I mean, I know the rust is gonna grow no matter what. So that should be a better prevention. That's the hole firebox there where the door is it was kind of pitted there so i'm wondering if it just gets extra heat there um if that's the case the other side's probably bad too so i'm gonna check it out pretty soon but yeah turned out okay i used this board and that panel to block the breeze because i was having a little bit of trouble you can kind of see like there i was having a lot of trouble with the uh, the gas blowing away but it should hold pretty good. 
a lot better than it was for sure. We'll test it for leaks before we fully wrap it up, but right now I can feel this is warm. That's lukewarm. And this here is cool. So the water level is somewhere right here. So if I would have burnt through anywhere there, I would have known. And I was welding pretty heavy, pretty thick in there, so. Yeah, I'm gonna wrap it up and then uh, get the panel back on and then take apart the other side, see what it entails. That's why when you put in 120 gallons of water, you wonder why it's taking 120 gallons. Freaking touched it, and it's now geysin'. 